Listen, I'm just telling the truth. That's it. You tell me your truth. Hey, welcome back to my channel and I am a licensed clinical social worker and substance abuse counselor simply wanting to help therapists be better therapists. Okay, in today's video, you see the title. The title is Social Workers Cannot Pursue a Career in Private Practice. Let's talk about it. Here we go. The first reason why people think that social workers cannot have a career in private practice is because they are ignorant. Ignorant meaning unlearned, meaning they don't have the proper knowledge in order to make a statement such as that. But I have heard it, okay? I have seen it play out. And here's where that line of thought usually comes from. People believe that social workers are not qualified. People are misinformed as to the qualifications of a social worker. Mostly, people are ignorant, unlearned, and don't have the knowledge and usually think of a social worker as an individual, a female, a white female, who is nine times out of 10 employed by Department of Children and Family Services or some agency like that, and has been specifically set in place or put in place to take children away. And that's just not what or who social workers are. As I have outlined in my other videos, social workers can be degreed and non-degreed, okay? Now, the title social worker has traditionally and historically been associated with agencies like Department of Child and Family Services and places like that, where among their millions of duties and alongside other professionals and other entities, they do and can have the ability to take children away from the custodial parent. So and the fact is, is that in a roundabout way, social workers can take children away from the custodial parent, but that's not who social workers are. <laughs> that's not who we all are, okay? But again, that title has been used for that specific position. Social workers, both degreed and non-degreed, can operate in those fashions if they wanted to work for a child and family services, but we also have many other talents and many other abilities. A lot of people are actually uninformed about clinical social worker, which means you have a master's in social work and you have an applicable license. They are only taught about psychologists, licensed counselors, licensed marriage family therapists. There's not a lot of understanding of what a clinical social worker is, but there is a difference, okay? Clinical social workers are those who usually carry a license associated with their degree. And when I say license, I mean a independent license to practice therapy. The second reason is that in general, this is a long-standing issue that many people tend to have regarding therapists overall. What I mean by that is there, there are some people who just cannot digest or understand the idea that a mental health professional can be in the business like private practice. And that's simply because private practice is a business. Okay, some people, when they think of mental health profession, they can only think of helping others and cannot seem to grasp the concept of those two things working together. Okay, now where I have seen this play out and how this has further hurt social workers is because traditionally based on social workers practice and principles of addressing social justice, social policy, discrimination. This concept can be used further to hurt social workers due to the very nature of the social work degree. When I was talking about having a master's in social work or even a bachelor's in social work. And in some cases there are an associates, I believe in social work, but some people have a hard time understanding or digesting that social workers can be clinical. And <laughs> they have, they relate back to the nature of the social work degree, which is founded on social change, social justice. Some people who maybe get their bachelor's or get their master's in social work, they may be more interested in macro practice, for example, policies and planning and social justice and things of that nature. And so they may find it difficult for 
a clinical social worker to be put in practice. They may deem themselves as a true social worker. So the second one that falls up under that one is social workers, clinical social workers themselves limiting themselves on what they can and cannot do. I have seen this play out a few times, but I've been actually in conversations with other clinical social workers who express guilt around not accepting Medicaid merely because they were a social worker, because they were licensed as a social worker and had their major in social work. And they believed that according to their degree, they should make accommodations for people of lower income or for those who could not afford it merely because they were a social worker. They believed that they had to have certain availability hours, that they had to meet certain standards of others of the clients in practice in order to sleep well at night. I've also had conversations with other clinical social workers who felt as if they had to be in a certain setting, right? So that they would, that they should have to be in a local nonprofit or a community center, or that they had to work with a specific population without addressing or accounting for their own preference or what they felt comfortable with or their own skill set. And merely because they were a social worker felt they had to do certain things or practice in certain areas. Actually, when I first started pursuing my clinical social work license, what was actually in my code said that a clinical or independent license is meant for private practice. That's actually what my code said. And so that's always been rewarding for me because I'm like, this is in line with what I view social workers to be. Social workers are across the board talented. They can perform in many different areas. We can do a whole lot. So don't get it twisted, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted out here. In conclusion, there's a lot of ignorance, a lot of ignorance to what social workers can and cannot do. Many people have been misinformed. Again, it has a lot to do with the title social worker. There's actually title protection in some states where you have to be degreed in order to call yourself a social worker. In some states, that's not all possible. That is where some of the confusion comes from in that people don't know how to address certain people who are, are degreed, who are not degreed. But for so long, we've had the misfortune of being the people who take your children away. And that's just not what I do. That's not in my job description at all. I'm a clinical social worker. And then there are individuals who work in that area. That's what they do. That's their job. I am hoping that people have more knowledge and can gain a greater understanding of what social workers can do. Social workers are completely talented in multiple areas. We actually have a wide array of services that we can provide, whereas some of the other professionals can't even build Medicare. I believe there is one other, and that is persons who are qualified as a psychologist. They can build Medicare. Other professions cannot. So again, social workers can. So again, we do have some flexibility there. Another thing to know is that clinical social workers are qualified therapists. We are, okay? We had to take boards and we had to do all that other stuff that many of the other professions have to do. And here's the last thing I wanna say. Clinical social workers all over the world, all over the globe are successful business owners and are successful private practitioners. So don't get it twisted. I just wanted to enlighten you all and let you all know that social workers are doing their thing, but there is a lot of misinformation as to what social workers can do, what they can't do, where they work, where they don't work. We're all around, we're everywhere helping and helping people get to the next level. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching my video. And till then, I'm out. Bye.